Eight. The last of the semi-finals in the men's 400 meters and Martin Rooney traditionally does like to leave a little bit to do over the second half of the race and Nigel Levine has built up a bit of a lead at the moment over Martin Rooney but Rooney, that tall figure in the white vest, beginning to make a little bit of inroads into Nigel Levine at the moment who's up alongside Andrew Steele, both passing Greg Loudon on the outside but it's Rooney moving along nicely Again, just sitting, sitting on Nigel Levine at the moment as they're around the bend. And it will be these two with Andrew Steele trying to push them hard at the moment. And Steele, the former champion on the outside, beginning to fade just a little bit. And these two are class apart and a long way cleared off the rest. It's Rooney and Levine and two to go through automatically. So we might want to switch down the engines a little bit, save some energy. Martin Rooney, Nigel Levine side by side, hand in hand just about. It's Nigel Levine who takes it just ahead of Martin Rooney, 46-35. And the distance they had on the third place man, I think that's pretty good for Jimmy Bowie to go through as a, a fastest loser. But Nigel Levine and Martin Rooney, again, a uh, uh, class apart. They have that, that calibre. They have competed on the, the top stages for some time. And it's Levine who just takes it ahead of Martin Rooney. And uh, I'm sure they'll do a very close battle again in the final. Well, I know I love Martin de Pitts, and he's a very popular guy, and he's a very smart guy. And I don't think he was smart there, because you know, you've got to finish in the top two, and Martin will expect to do that, but he won't want to give himself what he has now, a tougher lane. You know, we had the three winners will go through. He had this race won, and he just checked back. Nigel is thinking, yeah, I'd like to win it if I can. Martin can't respond, it's too late to respond then. He, 